guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto, finance, or the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now, today is a freaking late one. It's 10.30 p.m. Had a massive day at the office. There are a few updates today as the market is literally opening as we speak on Wall Street. Obviously, we've got Ripple and XRP bullish news now. They're preparing to respond to that $2 billion fine from the idiot uh, Gary Gensler, or ACC, uh, again, some bullish moves in Switzerland coming to Bitcoin. Hong Kong, again, releasing a stablecoin on SUI. And this is the reason why I'm extremely bullish on it as well. Shattering Bitcoin news. Again, when will the peak be for Bitcoin? We're going to get into that. And of course, I'm going to go over my bots quickly. It's going to be a little quick video tonight, Bull. So let's get into it. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification because I love doing these videos, as you can see right here, every single day documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come on, this incredible journey. We're about to get really bullish here, ladies and gents, so do not miss it. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff, right? I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. Right, formalities are out of the way, straight to community tab. I uh, literally just put this up before, because again, the market's slowly picking back up. I've started a few bots now as well, but we've got Ubix Network. As I was saying in my video yesterday about this one, Ubix Network is a gem, near protocol. We've got the Graph, GRT, Star Atlas and Hero, some gems right there. Star Atlas, I like. The game's really, really cool. So I think play to earn games will make a big comeback. Uh, let's go to Coin Market Cap. Have a quick look at what's going on here in the market. We've got two point four uh, three trillion dollars, sixty five billion dollars in volume. So again, it's still nowhere near when Bitcoin was going absolutely parabolic, breaking that all time high. We'll get there, ladies and gents. Fifty three uh, percent on the Bitcoin dominance and sixty two on the fear and greed index. So everyone was sort of anticipating that Bitcoin halving that just happened as well. So uh, keep an eye on that. And obviously Grayscale needs to stop selling their freaking Bitcoin. Anyway, Bitcoin sitting at 65,933 US dollars. Ethereum's at 3,200. Solana's back up uh, today, 2.74% right now to $154. This is an absolute sleeper. It really is. I think Solana is going to be the next Ethereum in this bull market for sure. XRP again up 53 cents. There are some updates about that we're going to go through. Doge at 16 cents. Toncoin $6. I am trading that with my spot uh, trading bots as well. Some other gems. Just quickly having a look at them. We've got XLM at 11 cents. Immutable X at $2.27. Uh, Hedera at 9 cents as well. Scrolling down. Let's have a look here. Algorand's at 19 cents. Banking coins. My main focus. Come on. Uh, at $108 uh, for Quant. Scrolling down, WorldCoin, $5.55. Don't like the iris scanning thing, but it is part of my QFS system coins, utility. And of course, we've got XDC, XYO, Reef, uh, which is doing some nice things as well. Anyway, let's go to Crypto Bubbles quickly. And yes, I do have the Wall Street Bull University linked below. Put up all my buys, sells, trades, indicators, trading bots, my... Uh, Dividend investing, again, that goes up every single day in here. So go join up. I'm about to uh, do the DCA as well into the stock portfolio. That happens every single week on a Monday, buying those dividend paying stocks. That is growing really, really nicely as well. So if you're in the Patreon, you will definitely be seeing that. Also, my three commas uh, trading bots are doing extremely well. Also, I've opened up quite a lot of them now because, again, trading the... Uh, spot market as well as now just open up a few small positions on Bybit. So I'm trading on both OKX and Bybit. Now OKX is for the spot trading, Bybit is for the leverage trading. Just keep that one in mind. If you wish to do that in Australia, that's pretty much the only uh, platforms you can trade with leverage is Bybit and of course the spot market on OKX because I had that major change. But anyway, I've got a lot of bots opening up at the moment, which is nice in long positions because the market is going to go up because again, the market is literally going to open tonight. Anyway, everything is linked below here. I'm trading all the uh, bullish top coins right here. I've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, Immutable X. Uh, we have Chainlink, AVAX, of course, XRP, that's a given. Uh, we've got Pepe, some meme coins as well. I might even open up a few more bots on the meme coins just to let them run on the spot market. 
And uh, you don't have to have much for these to trade um, in the spot market anyway. You can just literally set and forget them because you're not gonna get liquidated uh, because the bots basically don't trade with leverage. So it's really cool software, trading on an RSI indicator on a three minute time frame. Uh, again, taking 1.5% profits and it's really easy to set up. Go join up to three commas, guys. This is where you know the bull market is gonna be in full swing and you wanna be trading 24 hours a day, seven days a week, making basically passive income while you sleep. This is what three commas allows you to do. The link is below for three commas. I'm using the monthly uh, membership on this pro plan. You can use the yearly, you can buy it the whole year and not forget about it for 12 months. It's completely up to you. But guys, everything's linked below just to show you as well. OKX again, small gains on here because again, I you know had some uh, major issues with OKX, but I'm slowly building that back up now. Going to be putting in more capital to trade the spot market here on OKX, which is bullish. And Bybit now, you can see right here, the link's below for Bybit. Also, I've currently got a small bot with uh, a little bit of leverage right there. I think it's around about uh, five to eight X leverage at the moment, uh, just waiting it out to see how the market's gonna go. But the positions, I've got six open at the moment, trading seven altcoins, literally the top, uh, the top altcoins anyway. So we've got Bitcoin, Ethereum right here. We've got XRP, Doge, Solana, and Toncoin. Interesting, right? So I'm trading on both platforms. It's really easy to set up. And again, trading both the spot market and the uh, perpetuals market or futures, right? Really, really cool stuff. Everything is linked in the Patreon. Go check it out. Yes, XRP again is moving up, which is nice as well. But Ripple prepares to file opposition brief against the SEC, Gary Gensler's goon squad. Uh, Ripple will respond to SEC's demand for $2 billion in fines requested in its remedies related uh, opening brief. And uh, yes, XRP did climb back up. And uh, the opposition brief on Monday basically is when it's going to be uh, all starting this week as a response to the SEC's opening brief, which asked for $2 billion in fines. $2 billion, right? The content of Ripple's brief won't be officially available until Wednesday this week. So it's going to be very fascinating to see that, although some parts of it could be made uh, public before it, uh, you know, again, as it happened with the SEC submitted its brief. And XRP holders, legends, uh, anticipate Ripple's response as developments surrounding the lawsuit are a key driver of influencing the altcoin's price. And the opposition brief is considered to be one of the last chances for Ripple to present its arguments against the possibility of penalties. And I just want to point out as well, $2 billion, it's a massive fine for the company, but you know they can afford it. But why would you want to pay $2 billion to Gary Gensler? I wouldn't want to do that. I'd be fighting that like crazy. Anyway, we've got a huge Bitcoin move coming from Switzerland tonight. And uh, this is interesting, but another step was taken in Switzerland. One of the countries talked about uh, with Bitcoin moves, speaking at local news outlet right here, I'm not going to even pronounce his name. It's crazy, but stated that adding Bitcoin to the central bank's reserves would help preserve Switzerland's sovereignty and neutrality in increasingly uncertain world. If you start getting, I mean, reserve banks, right? Central banks buying Bitcoin around the world. Do you really think that that whatever's remaining out there on exchanges is going to last long? Definitely, definitely not. Look at this. Our aim is to add Bitcoin as a reserve currency to Article 99-3 of the Swiss Federal Constitution because it's important to take the necessary steps to protect our sovereignty and neutrality. The Swiss National Bank creates foreign exchange reserves in excess of its income. Some of these reserves are held in gold, and in future it will be called gold and Bitcoin. How cool is that, man? That is crazy to see that. That's gonna send things flying. One article that I missed earlier uh, this month as well was Hong Kong based digital $3 billion stablecoin arrives to SUI network uh, in the DeFi push or decentralized finance push, which is crazy crazy to think about this right but sui will be the third blockchain for the native fd usd after being available on ethereum and bnb chain integration is part of an effort to make the token more embedded into the decentralized finance space or DeFi. first digital ceo said in an interview on coindesk now this is crazy but hong kong based stable coin issuer first digital trust again said back then a couple weeks ago that it's expanding its three billion dollar pegged fd usd token to the SUI blockchain after being available on uh, Ethereum and BNB Smart Chain, which is just nuts when you think about it. This is why I suspect Raul Powell is trying to accumulate more SUI. 
Now, you, can you imagine what happens when the XRP stablecoin, Ripple stablecoin goes live? This is what I'm talking about. Utilities, absolute king. Stablecoins are going to be here for the future anyway. And uh, interesting article quickly. I'm going to uh, get through this, but the basically the peak of Bitcoin will be 2025, right? Usually this is the case after a Bitcoin halving, it'll be stagnant for a while, but it will slowly peak. Now have a look at this. What we usually see after a halving takes place is a small period of stagnation, followed by the majority of the rally into the cycle top. And uh, obviously this cycle may have been shortened from to, uh, to form a cycle top at the end of this year instead of 2025. So where are they gonna see the peak of the tops, you know, again, the Bitcoin cycle, at the end of this year, moving into 2025. I think that's when people should start considering taking profits. I'm just putting it out there. Uh, so just be very mindful of that. Having a look at Cryptometer.io, they have updated their website, which is awesome to see this, by the way. Let's just wait for it to load. The net inflow, where is the money going? And no, this thing's had a freaking mind of its own. Let me just refresh this right now. Always does this. And if it doesn't work, well, we're just gonna move on to something else. Let's have a look. Wait for it. Nope, it doesn't work. Anyway. A lot of money is going into SUI and XRP, Bitcoin and Ethereum, of course. Now, this is an interesting one. If you have not seen this, the Altcoin Season Index is fascinating, this website. If you haven't looked it up, go look it up, Blockchain Center. Top altcoins is WIF, Pepe, Core, FET, Arbitrum, right here. We have Shiba Inu, some gems right here. Everything's almost in the green, bull market stuff, right? But we're still in Bitcoin season. We need to get this to the altcoin season. All right, just putting that out there. Uh, moving on to X, let's have a quick look and see what's going on here. There's not a lot because again, it's coming out of the, the weekend in the United States and the market's just opening. Thank you to those 6,300 people you guys rock. Google literally knows about Bitcoin 100%. Every government in the world would have to uh, successfully coordinate simultaneously to shut down the entire internet, internet everywhere to keep it off forever right now. And this is Bitcoin, right? Crazy. S you know, Significant liquidations will happen again if Bitcoin starts to... Uh, pump which i suspect it's going to do very shortly because again the market's opening uh people are getting stunned by how many wealth management firms own bitcoin etf by the end of 2024 i agree thank you bitcoin archive for that the imf international monetary fund recognizes bitcoin as a savings tool for individuals in high uh, inflation countries i mean inflation is going crazy at the moment as we all can uh, tell by the uh, mortgages right and everything's just going nuts sorry guys got something in my eye uh, moving on, we've got, again, Ripple preparing for this insane um, court case against the SEC. $2 billion. Absolutely nuts. Have a look at Larry Fink right here. Have a listen to him about Bitcoin. Let's, and we'll end up on this. Have a listen to this. You know, a market that has more liquidity, more transparency. And I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, and I would never have predicted it before we filed it, that we were going to see this type of retail demand. So you thought you'd do good, yeah. but not this good. I thought... Yes. yes. Oh, IBIT, <laughs> is, IBIT is your ETF yes. over at iShares. Yes. It's about to overtake Grayscale, which was in the business uh, certainly a lot longer. You look at the gains since January 11th when it first came about. Yes. Have you ever seen this much inflow this quickly into... IBIT is the fastest growing ETF in the history of ETFs. I, I'm very bullish. Is that just crazy? And it's only gonna get bigger than that, ladies and gents. So I can't wait for that. Well, we've got Jeff Bezos right here. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for tonight. I'm going to bed, I'm absolutely exhausted. Still putting out content though, because again, this stuff never stops. And literally during the week, it's every day that there's something new occurring. But anyway, stay bullish, join the Wall Street Boy University. I'll be putting up those dividend buys tomorrow morning. Have a good night, good afternoon, and a good morning. And if it's morning, wherever you are in the world, have an espresso. Peace out, guys, take care, bye. Thank you.